Cartman has returned to training now, and we're using the R2 Fish School training wand, feeding wand with uh, little tiny bits of salad shrimp in the cartridge, in the magazine, I should say. And he um, has had to go through, quite, we have both had to go through quite a learning process of how to use the feeding wand without um, having him totally focused on it as food, as a treat delivery system, but not um, as an actual training tool. So um, before I show you his, um, his start of shaping the hoop, I'm going to show you the things we have worked out, out with the feeding tube. One of them is that I can hold the feeding tube above the water and I'm going to flash that and treat him. Whoops. And he doesn't uh, try to jump up out of the water to grab, grab at the feeding wand, which is, uh, has been a work in process. So that means I can be ready to treat what flash treat what I'm going to flash treat that decision. Notice that I, I can't talk and train at the same time, so that's difficult. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Excellent. So now I'm going to put his uh, hoop in. And that one you could see he was moving towards the hoop before the presentation of the feeding wand, which is definitely what I want. But a lot depends on me getting the timing of everything right. That was a surprise. I was I was looking down here at the bits of food. Getting him in the feeding wand. Oops, Bubby. <laughs> that was rewarded because he started to go towards where he saw the feeding one and backed up and thought better of it. That, to me, is a miracle. My aim is to have the flash mark his behavior and the presentation of the feeding wand happen as he's already moving towards where he expects it to be. And it, it's tough to get this timing right, so I can't wait to watch this video to see how, 
how bad my timing really is. Perfect. That was a good one on everybody's part. He loves his feeding wand. He sees the feeding wand. Doesn't go for it. Now he has to think about it. It's behavior contingent getting that feeding wand. So how the heck is he going to get that thing presented? That's how you do it, little fishy-wishy. <laughs> Good job, Kurt. Wonder what fish think of praise, huh? <laughs> and there was some noise accompanying that. Um, me rattling, bumping into the top of the tank, which in the past has just totally freaked him out and ended a training session. Um, so you can see the high value shrimp treats and the feeding wand have uh, really helped him overcome that kind of thing. Now he's a little bit stalled out over there, but I'm, I'm moving myself, everything back into position. Probably should have got that one, given that we're recovering from a noise, but I was holding out. like I might have to help him. That was a straight presentation of the target stick uh, feeding wand to reinforce that movement, mainly because my hand was wet and not on the proper position in the flash, so that's great. That's fine. We're near the hoop again. Did I take that? Whoops, I missed it. You didn't see your stick coming out, buddy. 